Hello! <clears throat> I'd like to welcome one and welcome all back to Fester. And I have been dreading this moment a bit. You might wonder, well, why have you been dreading this? This game is fun. It looks pretty. Well, unfortunately, the mines are the least fun location of all. Not because it's not only because it's difficult, but because it's a very finicky set of gimmicks that they give you, and really, I don't like the mines. I really don't. Could use the controls a bit. Also, we're looking at some Dungeon Drip more mods, which is kind of cool. There are a few cool ones. So you might wonder, well, what's in the mines? Well, in the mines is a lot of darkness. Light is an important, crucial factor. As you can see, there's stalactites, and stalagmites, leaking ooze. Ah, uh, there's a fluoro out there. Where's my mouse? There's a fluoro over there, as you can see. But he seems to fear this light. And that's one of the first floors we're going to meet up with. Is the dark guy. Can I dim the lights? Jimmy, kill the lights! It doesn't seem like that. You could just fall down, but this is so much more epic. On top of that, you would hit those stalagmites over there. Look at that green gloop. That's gonna be important later. What the fuck did I just do? Well, there's a light over there. Let's just keep it to that. So this green glow goo is part of your kit. You're gonna be able to suck it up not too long from now. You can see it's very sticky. It's very gamma 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 mama mamilia. She comes and goes. Wait, I don't need you. I can might as well use the blue guy. Go stand on that switch, big boy. It looks so cool. You should see my character doesn't shed any light at all. I guess he's not a bright one. <laughs> Why is my mouse cursor still fucking there? It's really awkward. I'll put it over in this in this corner. Na 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 Going down the stairs Having affairs Well Bottom floor chicken bot pie when these mines were over on the floor, all the glow, goo, extraction pumps were stopped, and he fixed them underneath the control room giant excavation machine. Control center affected with the floor is interesting and transforming. It appears the door is not only really damaged. They're adapting the environment to themselves. Oh, look, there's some floors there in the background. Like I said, fun details. Doesn't compensate for the rest of the game being cool for this. Oh, fuck some lag! It is going to be exceptionally laggy. Just look at all this lighting it has to provide. So yeah, those are goo lamps. 
In this case, you can lock, knock the living daylight out of it. I should stop using this particular nozzle. Use my special level two. Oh, uh, I might as well show it actually. Something that I didn't bother to show that I only just remembered really. You might wonder, what's that tube tube for? Well, that tube tube is to refill these babies. You see, as you knock the light out of them, you can fill them back up. But the main reason you're supposed to do this is to shoot it in there. And look! It slowly fills them back up! And a stir But we can't check up the green goo until we get ourselves a green goo tank. Which is annoying because we need glow goo for the vast majority of this area. And here we get to use green glow goo. In a rather interesting manner, particularly we get to spray it all over the damn place. Gross as fuck. Oh yeah, now I forgot to show you something, is that, like with all liquids, we can take one of these big boys, and composite ourselves a fluoro. that in order to interact with the energy with the switch over there, we need to unlock this door. Now this one shouldn't be too hard. You'll have to go to the other side! <laughs> oh, um, um, um. oh, he's so jolly when he walks. Oh, he's gonna blow up. Oh, what do you do? That was pure luck. But now we get pa 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 glow go canister obtained. Um, yeah. My voice is cracking up. I would wonder, would you like me to test drive? Ooh, that would... Excellent! With this additional canister, I can you know use the glue instruction and dispense glow go. Dark violence. Traction with fluid, much easier. So, uh regarding Dungeon and Dreadmore, I could play uh, mods, like showcase them, that'd be pretty fun. I mean, I love Dungeon Dreadmore, and they definitely the modding potential is incredible because it's a very simple game. And if you like what Dungeon Dreadmore has to offer now, then you can go mod and make even more. Yeah, I was really lucky that I got through this. Oh, I could just climb down there, that's the idea. If you lure like one of those regular old fluoros down. You have them go over there so you can inspect all the patterns and everything. But hey, my way worked as well. There is no wrong way of playing in this game, is something I've noticed. 
But you do have a limit, even with maximum upgrades, you do want to be a bit scarce with how you use your goo. You want to use it collectively, and you want to make sure that you keep track of it all. There's something up here. Do we need to dispense water or something? Oh no, only glow goo. Well, that was pretty cool. So we got glow goo machines. I wonder what they're used for, other than lighting. I mean, these aren't glow goo lights. Which kind of gives somewhat of a hint that glow goo might have another application. When they're willing to directly confess. Oh look. Now what would this machine be doing? I'm gonna press the button and it unleashes a rock. Oh. What the hell just hit me? Was it the fall? I don't know if falls hurt you. They might. Uh oh. Oh dear. Oh god. Oh wait, I can hold on to this rock. I didn't know you could do that. There's all kinds of floral activity in the background, which is so fucking cool. <gasps> Can I clog up the works? It appears not. The works do not give a shit what I do with it. I actually forgot to check something, how many puzzles we actually have to solve in this particular area. Six. A humble six. <gasps> no! Already? Fuck! This is a light fluoro! This fluoro can solely conceive and exist within the boundaries of light. Thusly, it will follow any light it can. As you can see, it slowly disperses into nothingness as light becomes less and less available. It's quite a sprinter. No, yo, don't, don't die, dude. Don't die. It's alright, it's alright, daddy. We'll take care of you. Come on, quickly, quickly! Run, 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 run! run. Come on, come on, come on! My little buddy. Come on, Daddy's here. Daddy's got a lantern for ya. Cause I've healed the time of my life. And I've never felt this way before. Afraid of the dark. Another fluoro evolution! This light fluoro appears to be dormant and compressed into underground reservoirs until released! After which you must seek light in order to stay alive. Cool. It's about 6 too high. That's pretty interesting that that guy must be tall. As light is one of the few sources of energy in the mine, it's logical for a few sources to be covered by such creatures. Covered it. Hmm. So yeah, light fluoro simply said will follow light no matter what. Just like the dark one we saw before. Well, those the literal polar opposite. We will seek by any and all means necessary to follow the darkness and avoid the light. Afraid of the dark. So what's this? Well, for one, it's something I cannot pass through. I 
Okay, okay, get shit. Come back here, you light. I don't want to go around using Glogu all the fucking time, which is something I did. Because I didn't know you could carry the lantern this far. Just one moment. Can I shoot Glogu in there? Yes, I can. I didn't know that. And I need to get rid of this light first. It's kind of difficult to aim with this Glogu, man. I do like how they're formed. It's very interesting. It's very alive, to put it simple. Okay, you don't notice this right now, but I am really having issues aiming. Because the controller is really being fucking nit fucking picky on this one. It's not so much that this particular controller setup doesn't permit it, but that the the per the, the device I'm using isn't enough. It's just directly that the controller does not want to aim at the angles I need to aim at. Oops! Sorry, I had to steal that one. Sometimes it's just like they say, ten for a dollar, two for a pound. Sorry, dude, but sometimes you just can't live. Well, let's pick up my old controller. And put this out of the way. I feel sad for him that he has to die. Then again, he shouldn't go in a cave in the form of a... Oh yeah, that's how this thing works. I'm going to do two this time, because I'm not in the mood of playing this game much longer. But what this does is it activates the pumps, which will cause this stuff to get spread all over the place. You can get yourself a refill. Just don't hit that thing or it's going to kill you. My stomach's burning. I hereby grant you heaven, a source of light. We haven't seen anyone else, which is something I don't like about this game. They definitely could have worked with a couple of extra characters. Oh look, those guys are back. Just getting in the way of everything. Whatever, 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 dude. Like, totally. Okay, so there's a release mechanism, and we need to hit that particular switch. Uh, I have no idea how you're supposed to do that one, though. Okay, so what does this switch do? Mm-hmm. 
Nothing's connected to that. Ugh, this is a tough one. I don't even know if I want this light around anymore. I mean, it's just getting in the way so far. We're gonna need one of these guys regardless, because that's the way the cookie crumbles, I'm afraid. They're made of water, in case you're curious. Let's go deliver this light somewhere where it won't get in the way. If I could get a creature... Ah! Suddenly a spark of genius hits my mind. Bloop! 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 This is not how I solved it last time, by the way. Is it gonna grow, or...? Hey dude, are you alright? It doesn't seem to exist. Did I charge it up properly? <sighs> ah, now he's well formed and ready to go. That's good, because that's exactly how I need him to be. See, I can guide this guy around. And once the lights go off, that's the guy is the first guy this guy's gonna go after. There's a lot of gymosexuality around here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is he still going after that fucking lantern? Fuck! Come back here. Come back here! No. Bad light. Bad. You're a bad influence. I'm running out of glop here. Oh, now the guy's gone. Fan diddly tastic. Here, you go get created there, then we'll break the bridge underneath you. Oh, he's got some goo. He doesn't even give a shit. He's like, chew on him. Now that burns like hell, man. You gotta save him, buddy! Shit, shit, shit! I gotta start all of fucking over again! I'm gonna solve this one off screen. Gotta wait for that goo to start dissolving. Skill layer. There you go. Fucking go. 
This guy's gonna jump over there, slowly sweating as he dissolves. And soon I'll lure his little friend over. We'll start marching up and down the square. Uh oh, two little body mass sucker. But I know what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to get it so that the one cog touches the other thing over there. You see that little cog spinning? Almost! Atta boy! Atta boy! Well, I guess that's it for now. As you can see, the mines are a very finicky place to live. But I gotta render some dungeons and thread more. And uh, stuff. Stuff I gotta especially do. Uh, revolves around walking my dog. The old little doggy dog. He doesn't give a flip, does he? He doesn't even flip the dick. Don't you, baby, don't you. I'm gonna continue to the next area. So you can get a preview of the levels to come. Will I complete this puzzle? No. Why not? Why not? Why not? Oh, yeah. Oh, let's do this one first. This one's actually kind of interesting. Well, this lag is not helping me. Climb the ladder! Wow, the ladder is five pixels away and you just don't want to grab- Why the fuck isn't he grabbing onto that ladder? message received. It's not even two fucking o'clock, man. So like I said, you can extinguish these lights, but you can also re-extinguish them. And here's something they don't tell you, is that you need to get this guy particularly at that section. So you want to knock out these other lights first. Or else we'll just keep on trucking. Like I said, that's what you don't want. You want him to stop right there. This stuff is really sticky. And insists on remaining orbulous. I guess this is a unique kind of a uh, glow goo. Need to empty my canister a bit though before I can actually do this. I'll see you guys in a moment when I get this actually set up. You'll see what I mean when I get there. I know you can't pass through here, it seems. Oh. 
No, no, stand over here. I said stand over here! Fuck, I need you to die at a very specific location. Just die already. Sorry, I... <laughs> I'm so sorry, I just... I'm sorry! Come on, you can forgive me. I feel sorry for them, just like the, the dark guys. I mean, they're legitimately afraid of it. They try to avoid it where they can, and all I'm doing is I'm exposing them to it, like some sort of bad guy. I feel just evil. I'm not even in the fun way. Ah, I'm becoming gloopier. I am the blob. No, I don't want to be the evil bad guy monster. Oh, what's this place? Oh, there's a giant piece of equipment in the background. One of these reservoirs. And look, it's puzzle number three. I can only assume it is. Yes, it is. So next time, we're going to see how we're going to solve this conundrum. And as I can tell you, it's not a very fun one. This one's going to be very annoying. This one I fidgeted with for a while, particularly because I had no idea what to do. Hmm. What can you do with this? Now, obviously you want someone to disintegrate there, because there wouldn't be a puddle like that if there wasn't. Now, we'll try this next time. See you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, yay. If you didn't, all. But I'm done with this. I'm tired of Vessel for now, because uh, this is going to be annoying. So we're going to save our game. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know I saw something. There was a cheat jump to level. What the fuck does that say? Jump to a level? Why does it say that? That's weird. Let's end with a mystery. Bye!